initially when me and my wife started dating, uh, he slept over at my place and we were going for breakfast. And and I I just wanted to make her happy and get her what she wanted. So she was like, oh, I'm hungry. Okay. Okay, honey, what do you want? Should we make some food ourselves here? Or should we go out to eat? And at this point, I didn't know that women don't really like making choices in their life. So she was like, oh, maybe going out maybe cooking at home and it went back and forth and i kept asking her like so going out cooking here what do you prefer like oh i'm fine with either i don't mind like, blah 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 um Farewell. and i think we ended up spending an half an hour going back and forth um and then coming to the conclusion that he was not gonna make a decision and then in the end i just decided okay you know what honey let's get some nice food we're gonna we're gonna go out so let's walk to the city it's only like 40 minute walk or something like that it's not too far away then we get some nice air it was a good day let's do that and she's like okay and then we got ready and we got out and she didn't speak to me the entire fucking way because she was hangry he was so hangry and just wouldn't even look at me. And if I asked her anything, I was going to, mm, or something like that. And just for 40 minutes, I just walked next to this person that I really liked. And I was really happy with just being completely ignored because she was being hangry. And how do I know she was being hangry? Funny you should ask me that. I know that because as soon as we sat down and after we had ordered and the food came to us and she started eating i've never seen her and like as happy as that moment and she started talking about everything and like oh let's take selfies together oh let's do this let's do that oh he 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 like we need to take a selfie to remember this time and so on and it's like but you just ignored me for basically an hour while walking here and now because you're getting food, you're the happiest person in the world, like the fuck happened. So ever since that day, I learned to never let my wife get anywhere close to hangry. So as soon as she tells me like, I'm getting hungry, like um, sirens goes off in my head and I see this red light, like it's, it becomes a red alert really fast. And I know I now have 30 minutes to get some food into her. Otherwise, she's gonna start being hangry. And that's the principle that has uh, kept our relationship happy for the last seven, eight years. And it's still working. That fucking walk with just being ignored for an hour. That was we need to hear the story from the other side as well. I don't know what the other side could be. Like, I can speculate. Um, so, I was hungry and I wanted food. But he kept asking me, should we make the food or should we go out to eat? And like, come on, man, you should make that decision. I don't want to make that decision. And I kept being very flimsy and changing my answer so he should obviously know that I didn't like that he should make the decision so finally he decides that we go out to eat like thank god not like I'm gonna cook on a Saturday morning so then we go out and we have to walk there we the weather is brilliant and everything and we we walk to the city like peasants or something I don't know and this whole time he just tries to talk to me and I'm like, uh, please, I'm like, please just shut up. But he just keeps talking and it's so annoying. It's just blah, 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 the whole way. 
and then when we get there the food is really good and he finally quiets down <laughs> and i can finally get some some perspective and like get some energy from the food and like finally be myself and then of course as the awesome girlfriend i am i i offer to take some selfies together and and i and i start answering him and talking to him just because of how wonderful a person i am <laughs> why, why do i sound so annoying when i'm telling her side <laughs> Don't change the voice. <laughs> I think I did quite well. I think I think if we ever get my wife on stream and she tells the story, I think people would like obviously if we hit the camera, people wouldn't really know if it was me or her telling the story. Fuck okay. So don't go out of that and I can loot afterwards when you talked about your that you were so rational I feel like I was being rational and like mm hmm okay so you didn't ask me to tell the story being rational you told me to tell the story from her side and those two things are conflicting like requests. <laughs> 